Welcome to Wawa Mela Channel. A pillowcase is just too big. Says who? Charlie looked at his sister Anna, hanging her Christmas stocking at the end of her bed. Charlie hung his extra enormous monster pillowcase at the end of his bed. It is supposed to be a Christmas stocking, not a great big giant pillowcase. Anna glared at her brother. What's wrong with big? Charlie laughed. And who says it has to be a stocking? Anyway, it's a Christmas pillowcase. Anna started to get ready for bed. I wonder what Santa would say. Santa would be fine with it, Charlie laughed. He is big himself. The children wanted to go to bed now, but both were so excited and finding it hard to sleep. Their mom read a story, extra long, to get them extra tired, but it didn't work. They both looked up at the night sky. Maybe we'll see his sleigh, Anna whispered. Too early, he has a whole wide world to visit. Charlie looked up, too. I bet he'd tell you that a pillowcase is selfish and greedy. Anna shook her head. At last, the children managed to get to sleep, but something woke them both up. I don't often do this. The big man in a red coat with a white beard gave each of them a gentle shake. Am I dreaming? Anna opened her eyes wide. Sort of Santa said. Not a dream, but not quite awake, Santa laughed. I am going to take you both with me to see which is better, a stocking or a pillowcase. Charlie said nothing. He just couldn't believe his eyes. Get your coats on. Santa opened their bedroom window. It's mighty cold up there in the Christmas sky. The children stumbled into their winter coats, still not sure about this strange dream. Santa was right. The night sky was chilly cold, and the sleigh was scary fast. The sleigh stopped so often, and Santa jumped out like magic. He was quick, and even though he was big, he jumped through windows or onto roofs like it was so easy. Isn't that sack full of toys heavy? Anna felt brave enough to ask him. Yes, it is. Santa looked at Charlie. Lift it, if you can? Charlie tried to lift the big heavy sack, but he just couldn't. Time to get you two back home, Santa laughed. I don't want you catching colds, and me getting the blame. The sleigh picked up speed and did some scary dangerous loops. Before they knew it, they were back at their open bedroom window. I think you are right. Charlie looked up at Santa. You work so hard getting our presents delivered. I never thought about it before, but maybe a pillowcase is greedy. Santa smiled. Stockings are just the right size, not too big, and not too small. Think about it. The children almost fell through their open bedroom window. Santa grinned a huge grin before he disappeared. And never forget how heavy that sack full of presents is. The children were exhausted. They fell into bed still wearing their winter coats. The next morning they sat up in bed, rubbing their eyes, and wondering why they were wearing their winter coats in bed. Was that a dream? Charlie? Did Santa really take us out for a ride? Anna picked up her Christmas stocking, bulging with gifts. No, I think it was kind of real. It was cold up there, I remember that. Charlie picked up his Christmas stocking, too, an old one that used to be in his sock drawer, hidden away and long forgotten. The pillowcase was folded neatly next to it, with a little squiggly note, Stockings are best. 